Hey Kevin, it's Wednesday. First I want to mention that yesterday you used the term radically similar, and I like that phrase. I don't know why, I just thought I'd share that with you. The next thing I want to talk about is how yesterday you talked a lot about perspective. I called to mind an XKCD comic. For those of you who don't know, XKCD is a webcomic that's been going on for a few years, written by Randall Monroe. It's one of my favorite things ever. I've read every single one of them, because I'm that kind of person, and I constantly bring them into conversations because I'm also that kind of person. But so the comic you made me think about is called Umwelt. It was number 1037, and depending on what browser or device you use to access the comic, you saw a different comic. But when you put your mouse over the comic, I've been saying the word comic a lot. When you put your mouse over the comic and leave it there for a second, a block of text appears. The text reads, Umwelt is the idea that because their senses pick up on different things, different animals in the same ecosystem actually live in very different worlds. Everything about you shapes the world you inhabit, from your ideology, to your glasses prescription, to your web browser. I think that's a really good way to sum up perspective, is that we all live in completely different worlds. People from Chicago can stand cold weather a lot better than people people in, say, California, but the people in California know how to handle an earthquake a little better than us people in Chicago. The thing about perspective is that, on one hand, it can divide people because they have different perspectives and they can't seem to compromise or see things from the other's point of view, but on the other hand, when we cross that barrier and see things from someone else's perspective, it can just be a very productive thing. Something else I thought about perspective is that I feel like that's just the point of Books. books are there to communicate someone else's perspective. A good writer communicates well and creates understanding, and a good reader understands. So I think books as a thing just exist to communicate perspectives and to help people see each other's perspectives. Now that I'm talking about books, I can talk about the fact that I went to the library yesterday and took out two books. One, to no one's surprise, is a Chuck Palahniuk book called Diary. The other one, which I already finished, is called The Aftermath, Book One. It's only about 75 pages. As you can see, it's very thin and short. And it was written by a girl in high school. Now, I won't lie to you and tell you this is the best thing I've ever read, but it was pretty good. It kept me reading the whole thing in one night. Granted, 75 pages isn't that difficult to read in one night, but when you read as slow as I do, you only read things that you want to. I fully intend to go get the second and third book as soon as I finish this Chuck Palahniuk book. And going back to perspective, I think that's one of the things I really like about Chuck Palahniuk books, is that they always have a different, weird perspective. Chuck Palahniuk generally writes about characters that he himself doesn't like. Characters that are kind of awful people a lot of the times. But that's the interesting thing, is creating an argument for a character that you don't like, rather than one that's easily sympathized with. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and message us if you'd like. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Good day, YouTube. Good day. Kevin, I forgot to tell you your punishment for posting your video like seven minutes late. You have to cover your least favorite song and post it on here to the YouTubes. Have fun.